Some members of the new patriotic party from Asante Bekwai are demonstrating at the party headquarters demanding nomination forms for one of their aspirants, Kwesi Amofa Ajimai. The members are accusing the first Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Joseph Osewusu, for neglecting them. They contend that executives are frustrating Kwesi Ajimai by denying him the nominations form. Uh, they have therefore threatened to force Kwesi Ajimai to go independent if the leadership fails to address their concerns. Godfrey Tanam has been speaking to the demonstrators. <laughs> About 120 NPP members have traveled from Asante Bekwa here to uh, the NPP national headquarters here in Accra. And simply they want uh, the opportunity for uh, lawyer Kwesi Ajima to contest Joseph Osewusu, the first deputy uh, speaker of parliament. And uh, this is something that they say they find it very difficult to do because they are not allowed to pick forms for Kwesi Ajima, who also wants to contest Joseph Osewusu. So We'll be finding out from there exactly what has been happening. They've been here since 5 a.m. and uh, they've been drumming and singing and demonstrating, uh, trying to get the attention of the party uh, leadership to attend to them to make sure that their uh, issues are addressed. So uh, this is what they are doing here at the uh, national headquarters of the new patriotic party. So we'll be speaking to uh, their leader to find out exactly what uh, uh, has been happening since they arrived here. You, you got here very early in the morning and uh, yeah. uh, first of all tell us your name and then your mission. My name is Seta Mwakumensa. Right. I'm a police station chairman for Dominance Matadish Primary. We came here to pick forms on behalf of lawyer Kwesi Ambufa Ajeman, an NPP member at the party. But you know that you're supposed to do that at the district level. Why jump from the district to the uh, national level? Sina, for about three weeks now, when nominations were open, Lawyer Mufajima has made several attempts to get the forms from the constituency. Only to be told later that uh, the, uh, the constituency chairman spoke on Angel FM that he got three forms from the National Chairman and the General Secretary, John Bordu. He sent the forms to his house at Book Room, and the forms got finished in his house. He sold the forms. As we talk, we don't know those who picked the forms, whether A or B or C. But he's been saying on radio that the forms are finished. The party made provisions to solve such happenstances. But what happened is that when we petition the region, it's like they've been telling him to come today, come tomorrow, it's like they don't want to give him the forms. We don't know what to do again. He petitioned the region, and the region too, he's come here, he's come here for about three or four times. It's been the same old story. Go and come, go and come. So, we the supporters, we marshaled ourselves, we got into our buses, and we came over to the party head office to request for the forms ourselves, because he's a competent member, He's an active member of the party. At least the constituency knows that he's bought over 100 chairs for Bekwai Loka. Something even the incumbent MP has not been able to do for the party at the constituency. So are, are you trying to say that since uh, Joseph Ose Wusu, I mean, uh, became the member of parliament for your area, uh, he's done nothing for, for, um, I mean, for you? Senior, if he's done anything for the party, it's up to him. He cannot name even a single bicycle that he's bought for the party. But why? As old as it is when it comes to the party, still rents a party office, a single room. There are no motors for party members to work. And this is the man hiding behind the chairman to disallow others from contesting the elections. This is what we are speaking against. This is what we don't want. In 1996, there was an incumbent MP. There were primaries. In 2000, it happened the same way too. In 2008, there was a certain MP, and there was he was uh, he, he, he was also uh, a deputy minister, just like he is a deputy speaker of parliament now. He contested him at the primaries. Kofi Adesanya gave him the chance. He contested him. He lost, and he still went ahead and went independent. The people voted for him massively because he had touched base, he, he had appealed so much to the electorate. Now, 
during his time. He that we went independent some few years ago now feels that he's the only qualified member to run on the ticket of the party. And trusting that the party leadership will handle it. I've been assured that uh, it will be handled. And for now, no, that's all I can say. I haven't got a form yet. I'm still hoping that we'll get a form. Because this is closing on uh, Thursday. Uh, you, you are very sure so that let's, let's get to Thursday and then we can talk about it. Nomination ain't close yet. And so we wait till Thursday and see. But we are here today because we didn't get the funds from the constituency. And then we went to the region. We also didn't get it from the region. That's why I came to the national headquarters. In fact, today I was called to come to head of the. I didn't even know there were so many people here already. And I was hoping I was going to get the forms. But I've been here for about two hours. I've still not got the forms. I also continue to trust the party leadership to resolve this on the Thursday. That is the most important. So we'll wait and see what happens. The reaction of Kwesi uh, Achiman, who is contesting uh, Joseph Osewusu, and he's saying that uh, he's not sure that he'll be given the phone before uh, Thursday. From the national headquarters of the MPP, Godfrey Tanam for TV3 News. <laughs> On reacting to the concerns of the demonstrators, Director of Elections of the party, Evans Nimakon, said the party leadership has spoken with their aspirant and the necessary things would be done to get him the forms. This is an internal party issue that we're saying that if you, the individual, deem yourself to be a legible member of the party in good standing, approach the Constituency Parliamentary Elections Committee and secure a form. This is the rule of engagement. So, so we don't deal with people making allegations. How many? How many petitions have you cited? How many names can you mention? Find out. Some time ago, I heard uh, Honorable Adeni Mo was complaining. Ask him today whether he has secured forms or not. So we manage these internal issues as and when. I'm saying that all issues are local based, constituency level, and we are happy at this stage where we are. We shouldn't be repeating ourselves. I've made an emphatic statement that ask Honorable Adeni Mo in case, in the case of him, whether he has secured one or not. And I, I think I made the point. Right, so uh, the people out there are raising some concerns and they are supporting the a particular people candidate. The people out there seems to be supporting one yes, person from the choir constituency. And I'm saying that, I've spoken to that gentleman and a certain decision has been made that if he pursue it, we will all be happy. And I know he's going to do the, the necessary, the needful for us to be okay. Yeah.